Hello, internet friends. Now that I've had coffee, um, yeah, I can talk competently about what is happening in this video. And what is happening in this video is I am still continuing to install the lower gear braces. And uh, to do that, you have to put in these giant AN bolts uh, that go through the brace, through the spar, through the, there's some other piece. Um, but anyway, uh, these giant bolts are motherfuckers. And, you know, normally I don't, I try not to cuss on this channel because my kids watch it. But kids, you need to know, I hate these bolts. So the thing is that uh, the bolt holes are really tight tolerance. And you want them to be, right? Because they hold the landing gear. Uh, and you don't want that wobbling around at all. So all, what is this plane weigh, like 1,700 pounds? All 1,700 pounds are going to be on those bolts. So what's 1,700 divided by four? Each one's carrying, oh, let's just round up for round numbers. Round up for round, yeah. Uh, each one of those bolts is carrying 500 pounds, which should be within tolerances for a bolt. I'm not looking at the sheer strength or whatever. And uh, anyway, so let me stop. You see what I'm doing? You have to push these things through somehow. Uh, and I was using a rubber mallet just to try to slam it in. And what you really need to do is you need to elevate the front end of this. I guess you could figure out how to turn it on its side or something. Um, but there's a slight curve to the underbelly of the plane. And so that has to be in alignment, I guess that's the word I'll use, so the bolts will go through. Uh, so what I ended up doing is just putting some wood blocks underneath the uh, front, the forward fuselage, and that kind of got it in the right angle for me to be able to just push the bolts through. Uh, one other thing that I did with the bolts is I used bow lube. So I put bow, bow lube all over them so they would slide easier. Um, but yeah, unless those holes are directly aligned at the exact right angle, you are gonna spend two days trying to get them in. And I, I, I you know, I tried to slide them in, I tried to uh, ratchet them in, um, and the only thing that worked is when I figured out that the angle needs to be correct. So. Hopefully, in the future, any RV14 builders that are watching this, uh, don't spend two days on this. Just put a couple little 2x4 blocks underneath the front end of the uh, fuselage under the firewall. It'll be at the right angle, and you won't be frustrated. Okay, uh, here's an um, update. So, last week was insane. It's probably the most insane week of my life. Uh, and I, there's probably a lack of videos because of that, but, uh, tons of drama, good, good and bad drama. Yeah, I don't know. I got a, I got a new job, not a new job, but a new role at work. So that is keeping me busy. There was a little bit of drama there. I mean, it's good drama, right? Things happen and you react and, and everything works out. So that will keep me busy. Um... I just have a new, like a lot of stuff to learn and just to get in my daily process, right? Like as my role as an engineer, like my daily process is one thing and this new like sales, like customer facing role is a completely different process. So like, you know, more phone calls, more updating records, generating quotes, blah, 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 right? So just a different focus. Um, I still think I can achieve an hour a day building a plane. Um, so I'm not worried for that. There might be a bit more travel. Um, but anyway, I still think I can average an hour per day on the plane, which is what I need so I can finish this plane because I need a plane. Like, I need to be able to fly places. So, um, yeah, I want to get this done. Oh, major update. Uh, my finishing kit. I got to notice that the parts are being produced. So, yay. Um, that just means I need to come up with money to pay vans, but, uh, that's a problem I'm willing to solve, uh, if I can get the finishing kit, because you know what that means? I have everything I need except for engine and prop, 
which I will probably order at Osh this year. So, yeah, that's exciting. I have everything I need to get finished here. So, um, thanks for watching. If you also are building an RV or thinking of building an RV or just want to find out more information, come join our Slack group. Link in the description. Bye.